find the measure of the indicated angle to the nearest degree. Now, this is the angle that we are uh, looking for. So the first thing that we need to do is identify the parts of the triangle and the first part that we need to identify is the hypotenuse. Now usually we said the hypotenuse is the longest side, but since one side is not given, then we cannot determine two identifying which is the longest side. Now the other way that we identify the hypotenuse is it is the opposite of the 90 degrees angle. So this is the opposite. So we can say this is our hypotenuse. Then adjacent is the angle which is beside the angle of preference and this is our angle of preference. So this will be our adjacent. Now the opposite is the one away from the angle of preference. So this side is away from the angle of preference. So this is our opposite. Now we will use a trigonometric function to find the angle. Now if you will say sine of the angle is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Now cosine of the angle is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent of the angle is equal to opposite over adjacent. Now let's identify the given. So we have the hypotenuse. So we can say this is over 56 and this is over 56. Then next we have the opposite. So this will be 43 and this is unknown. And we have the uh, opposite is 43 and adjacent is unknown. So then we can say that we can use the sine function to solve this problem. So we have sine of the angle is equal to 43 over 56. Now you need to uh, do the inverse of this to get the angle. So we have 43 over 56. So the sine to the negative one is the inverse sine. And we use this to find the angle. Now using your calculator, so what you do is you will do the inverse which is a second. So inverse of the sine and you will do the 43 divided by 56. Then this will be equal. So that will be 50.16. And it says to the nearest degree so we have 50.16, but it says to the nearest degree, so therefore this will be 50 degrees. So that is how you will solve this problem. Another problem we have is this problem, and this is our reference uh, angle. And the first thing that we will do is identify the parts of the triangle. Then we can say here the opposite, which is the uh, the hypotenuse which is the opposite of the uh, 90 degrees angle so this will be our hypotenuse now the angle beside the reference uh, the side beside the reference angle is the adjacent and Away from the reference angle is our opposite. So then we will identify what function. So we have, for example, if this is A, so we have sine angle A is opposite over hypotenuse. 
and we have cosine A is adjacent over hypotenuse and tangent is opposite over adjacent. Now, from the given, we said we have the hypotenuse, which is 63. And also we have the adjacent, so this is 38. So the opposite is unknown, so we cannot use sine and tangent, so we will be using cosine. So cosine A is equal to 38 over 63. Since we need the angle, we will do the inverse. So this is called the cosine to the negative 1 is the inverse cosine. And we use this to find the angle. So using the calculator, so you will do second, which identify the inverse. So we have second, then cosine, and we have 38 divided by 63. Then this will be equal to 52.9. But it says we need to round it to the nearest degree, so this will be equal to 53 degrees. So next problem is uh, we need to identify the angle again. So the first thing is identify the uh, parts of the triangle. So opposite the 90 degrees angle is the hypotenuse. And beside the angle of reference is the adjacent. And away from the angle of reference is the opposite. So therefore, we will identify what trigonometric function we will be using. So assuming this is angle C. So sine C is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. And cosine C is adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent C is opposite over adjacent. Now identify then the given. So we have uh, adjacent is 27 and opposite is 14. So adjacent is 27 and opposite is 14. The hypotenuse is unknown so therefore we can use tangent function. So we have tangent C is equal to 14 over 27. Then we will do the inverse of this. So inverse of tangent. So the tan to the negative one is inverse, inverse tangent. So we have the inverse tangent. So we use this to find the angle. So using the calculator, so you will do inverse the second, then tan, then we have 14 divided by 27. So it will be equal to 27.4. But it says round it to the nearest angle, so we have 27 degrees. Then this one, find the angle measure to the nearest degree. So if this is the given, what you need to do is do the inverse. Then just use the calculator to get the answer. So this will be inverse. So you do the second. Then sine. 
we have point six four three then that will be equal to forty degrees then this one you will do the inverse also using the calculator so we have the second then cosine on then type the numbers point four seven two so it will be sixty one point eighty four and round it to the nearest uh, angle will be sixty two degrees because sixty one point eighty four is nearer to sixty two than sixty one then last we have this angle so you do the inverse using the calculator so you will do inverse of tangent then times the uh, numbers and then equal then you get 43.06 rounded to the nearest uh, degree is 43 degrees